Hi guys, Brian from oldcamreview.com. I have another review for you today. It's one of my personal favorite cameras. Uh, it's, uh, you know, some of you may disagree, and I, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, on paper, the, this, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just a funny little camera. I really like it a lot. Um, I think it's really underrated, um, but uh, I think it might be worth taking a look at. Um, it is the Nikon L35AF. And what looks like a completely junky little camera um, and something you might get, you know, I said in my review is something you might get when you open up a bank account. Um, it really is a great little camera. It's it's got a super sharp lens, and it's a, uh, a 2.8 uh, 35 millimeter lens, and it's a Nikon lens, and it's, it really is just a great sharp little lens. It's not super fast, 2.8, but this is like the perfect understated street shooter. Um, and it, it's just a really cool camera. It, it works nicely. It's a, it, the, the one big detractor to this camera is that it is noisy and uh, there really is no manual control for it. Um, but if you're looking really for a great point and shoot to get super, super sharp cameras, I think this is the way to go. Um, I have you know the Stylus Epic and I've used the, uh, the Nikon, uh, not the Nikon, the uh, Yashica T4. Um, I've used all those cameras and you know they're all great cameras. Uh, but for the money, I, this this thing is just amazing. Like for fifty bucks uh, and under, uh, if you know if you're paying more than fifty, you know I would hope it would be in just super pristine, brand new con condition. But uh, and camera values right now are going crazy, so I'm not going to actually put a dollar on it. But um, I thought this was just an awesome camera. I looked at it when the first time I saw it, and I was like, "You got to be kidding me! This thing is ridiculous." But then I put a roll through it, and I was like, just so surprised at how sharp and contrasting and beautiful the pictures were that came out of this thing. I was blown away. Then I did a little bit more reading and found out that in effect is somewhat of a cult camera. There's a lot of people who like this camera. I really like this camera. I would take this camera over the Yashica T4 uh, any day. I think for the uh, uh, the, the, the fact, you know, this lens is just super sharp and I love the colors that come out of it. It's just a really, really lovely little camera. And uh, it's it's really easy to use and it feels, even though it's electronic, it feels a little bit mechanical. It's one of the, the first uh, autofocus cameras that uh, Nikon put out. Uh, it's really kind of nice when you actually look through, it's got an on-off switch, so you turn it on um, right here. And when you look through the viewfinder, uh, it gives you sort of the scale focus, you know, where you're actually focusing on and it gives you icons of a, uh, let's see here, you have one person, two people, or as they would say in England, uh, one bloke, two blokes, uh, three blokes, and uh, a mountain. So it shows you exactly where it's focusing uh, and uh, you can kind of get a good idea if, you, if you're focused in or not. Uh, and it, this, the uh, indicator slides across so as you do it uh, you can hear the little motor sort of uh, sliding uh, your indicator across and focusing. Uh, it really is pretty accurate focus. I really have not missed a shot as far as uh, focusing on this really great fast street shooter, believe it or not. Again, the one thing that about this camera, it is not quiet. Um, even, you know, so, and it's you've got an automatic flash, so if you uh, actually press the button, the flash will pop up. That's super loud. And it just chunk and just comes up. Um, you can, a can actually keep your finger on the flash and press and it'll try and release the flash and it won't and you'll still be able to take properly exposed picture. Um, but one, I, I do have film in here so I can't open the back for you. But when you do take a picture, I'm going to take a picture of, uh, of my camera right here. Let's see. Well, hang on, just do it from here. When you do take a picture, it is loud. I'm going to take two pictures. I'm going to burn through two, uh, two frames here. But I take the picture here. The wind is pretty pretty loud. Uh, it's not the, the quietest thing. Uh, I actually have other cameras, that nicer cameras that are louder, uh, but this thing is not too bad. However, it does use a sort of Leica like stealth uh, mode. Um, actually, in the new Leica M9, when you press the shutter, um, th this is part of their stealth mode. It won't. The camera won't wind on until you release your finger off the shutter button. The Nikon L35 AF, also, I'll take one more picture, won't do it, won't wind on the film or, or wind anything until you take your finger off the shutter. So you can take your picture and walk away and then release it when you're in a place where you can uh, uh, more discreetly 
release the shutter and it'll wind on to the next frame. Uh, really kind of a nice thing. Um, uh, the, uh, the the lens, the, the, the beauty of this camera really is the lens. It's not, you know, it's not a, a really wonderfully designed camera, although it's actually fairly comfortable in the hand. It has a nice weight to it. Um, one other like a like quality I like, it has two uh, lugs on the side of the camera. So as you uh, have the camera on your strap and string around your neck, it hangs like this. So you just reach up with your hand and you grab the the camera and start shooting as opposed to coming up and then lifting it straight up. So I actually kind of like the way the, cam the camera hangs from the two lugs. And the only other camera that I know that had that, uh, well it's not, probably not the other only camera, but the one that I'm most familiar with is the uh, Leica M5. Uh, came out with a three lug version. This is only two lugs on that side. There is no lug on this, this side either. And now I know you're saying, wow, geez Brian, uh, this is another older camera where I'm going to have to hunt down batteries and all that stuff. Well, actually, that's not true, my friends. Uh, you pull back the battery compartment here, and it takes double A's, uh, which is really nice. So you can just, uh, if you're having problems, you run out of batteries, just go to the remote uh, that you have for your TV, pull the batteries out, throw those right in, and you're ready to roll. Or you can buy batteries for this thing anywhere, and they're, of course, super cheap. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, the, the, the camera is, you know, has great quality lens. There's no zoom. Again, it's fixed lens, 35 millimeter. Uh, but what a lens! Wow, a little bit of vignetting in the in the corners, but I I like that anyway. That's part of my uh, part of the look I like anyway. But the colors are beautiful, contrasty, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Comes with this great lens cap, which uh, you know, problem with viewfinder or rangefinder cameras is that you often take pictures with the lens cap on. You never never even know this difference. This one has little blinders, so when you put on the lens cap, the blinders go right over, and you can't see anything through there. Um, uh, what else? Anything else good with this camera? It's got a self timer, um, adjustable uh, ISO rating up to. I have my. Let's see, I think maybe it goes to 400. Let me take off my uh, UV filter here and see where the ISO goes up to. Up to 1000. Pretty good. From what I understand, though, not all of them go up to 1000. Uh, it depends upon uh, what. Uh, how new the camera is or not, um, but yeah, so it's either 400 or 1,000 uh, depending upon the camera and the year of build from what I understand. If I'm wrong, uh, uh, don't hold me to that one. A uh, nice little grip here uh, to hold right here, and then there's a little thumb pad on the back. So really, honestly, ergonomically, not a bad camera. Um, plastic up here, um, other than that, it's, it's pretty solid. The build quality is actually pretty good. It's not like a junky uh, camera as you would expect it would be. Um, the rewind process on this is a two-step process. You pull back this switch here and press this button, and then the film will rewind uh, uh, through the auto, you know, the motorized rewind, rather. Uh, tripod mount right here, plastic, um, but, uh, you know, you, you've got it. And uh, there is a, a, a window here so you can see what film you have in it. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. Overall, a great camera. Like I said, the only drawback that I found with this camera is it's a little noisy. The uh, and for the money, it just can't be beat. So again, if you really want to see some great pictures, go to Flick River. Look up the L35 AF, uh, the Nikon. Uh, I'm in love with this camera. I think it's a great camera. I, I would recommend it to anybody, especially if you're new and getting into film, want something cheap, good camera, good quality. Don't spend tons of money on, on something you don't need to. This thing will do pretty much the job you need if you're certainly if you're just going out and taking random snapshots. So anyway, love it. Highly recommend it. Two thumbs up for me. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but uh, I love mine. Uh, I'm not selling it ever. Uh, for the money, it was just what a great purchase. So anyway, that's it. Any other requests, comments, concerns, please let me know. Please be constructive. Um, anyway, that's it. Brian, oldcamreview.com. Uh, any requests, again, let me know. Uh, check out my blog, oldcamreview.com. This is Brian. Thanks, guys, very much for watching. Thank you.